fault is with sport DNA. Hello, Coach. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Christos. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Not, it's not only the result, but also the, the way that you won. How satisfied you are about that and what it means the last couple of games and the way that you won, the way that you play on the court? Well, um, you know, I think we've been, we've been playing good basketball for a while. And, uh, you know, tonight was just another one. I thought um, I didn't think we got loose with the game, even though we had a lead. Um, especially in the third quarter, we were able to build the lead up. Uh, I liked the way we responded after a slow start offensively. You know, I, I think we were two for 13 or something like that at one point. And uh, we didn't get frustrated, kept playing, um, played with each other. So uh, anytime uh, we can get our bench guys in and, and rest our guys, uh, our minutes guys, that's a, that's a positive. Rafael Haynes, three-point conversion. Hey, Coach. 18 offensive rebounds tonight to their six. Would you say that was a big part of the reason why you all won and were successful? I think it was important in the first half when we were shooting like 29%. So there were <laughs> there were a lot of rebounds to be had at our offensive end. Um, but, you know, Nurk and Ennis are good offensive rebound, rebounders and – um, like I said, we didn't uh, necessarily convert on all, on all of them, but uh, while we were shooting the ball poorly, it, it did help. Casey Holdall, Trailblazers.com. Uh, Terry, what do you what are your thoughts or, or your opinions about uh, the play between Damian and Yusuf? It seems like, particularly in the second half or, or lately, it seems like they're really starting to find the rhythm, kind of similar to what it was before Yusuf's injury. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, they, you know, they do have a good chemistry. A lot of it depends on how the defense uh, guards the pick and roll. Um, you know, whether we need to set set a screen and delay the roll or kind of slip out of the pick and roll early. Um, Dame is obviously very proficient at that pass. Uh, and and you're right. I think he and Nurk, uh, going back two, three, four years, is like they um, they've developed that, and it's very effective for us. Thank you, Terry. Thanks, Casey. Boy, James, NBC Sports, Northwest. Uh, Terry, Dame hit that run there at the end of the second quarter that I thought really gave you guys a, a little jolt of energy or whatever. He seems to be picking his spots more now, you know, and, and not uh, getting others involved maybe more. Or is that a function of how you guys are playing now or just his maturity or what's causing that? Uh, it's hard to say, but I, I do think, you know, it's his ninth year and, and I think he sees the game really well, uh, see how the game is going and uh, what what we need from him. Obviously, I think he's on a he's on a good roll shooting the ball, has a good rhythm, um, so he feels confident with it. But I, I agree with you that, that the, the run, uh, the, when he hit the consecutive threes, that, um, that gave us a boost going into halftime. But, uh, you know, I, I do think... To your point, I do think that uh, Dame's game management uh, has improved every year. And like I said, in, in year nine, um, he does a great job with that. Final question is coming from Maria with TAB Deportes. Hi, Coach. Hope you're well. What is the key for this Blazers team to stay strong or focused and motivated this last week in particular that every game counts? Well, I, I think it's uh, it's pretty easy to stay motivated. Uh, you know, you look at the standings, uh, even though we're in a good position right now uh, with our win last night against the Lakers, we still have work to do to uh, stay out of the play-in tournament. So, um, you know, I think that's motivation enough. Uh, you want to be playing good ball going into the playoffs. And if you can stay out of the play-in, uh, it gives you a, a few days of rest, uh, needed rest going into the playoffs. Thank you. Thank you. All right, one more coming from Aaron Fentress. Hey, Coach, I'm just curious. Will you guys score more to watch tomorrow with the Lakers and Dallas playing? I mean, will you specifically no. watch the games? And <laughs> well, obviously, uh, we'll be aware of what's going on. I don't. I don't think I'll watch the game, but um, but I'll. I will be interested in the outcome. All right. Thanks. Uh, 
Thanks, Coach. We're up right, there. Thank you.